Governor, as you watch these uh, races that come in, um, your thoughts? Uh, well, I'm disappointed in some of them, of course. Uh, still cross my fingers, waiting to hear about Ohio, because we know that that's uh, paramount, the road to the White House for Romney, and yet uh, the realization at this point is that those Bain capital ads that the voters just got inundated with early on in Ohio and some of these other areas as it pertained to the auto bailout, um, I think really hurt Romney. Well, it's curious. I mean, we don't know what's going to happen. The race, the night is still on. It's very close in Florida, very close in Virginia, very close in Ohio. Anything can happen. But in the event that we wake up tomorrow and that President Obama has been reelected, nothing has changed in the Senate. Nothing has changed in the House in terms of balance of power. So that means that we are 18 months later. The House, the Senate, and the White House stays the same. $2 billion is spent in campaigning. Do we expect anything to be different in terms of sequestration, debt, tax cuts uh, by the end of the year? Is there any difference? Well, unfortunately, we know what we will get with four more years of Obama. This really is a catastrophic setback to our economy and to any opportunity that we would have uh, for Supreme Court justices to be appointed who would be strict adherence to uh, the traditional interpretation of what our Constitution says. And what we'll get in four years is uh, more debt because uh, Barack Obama has been one to believe that government spending is the answer to the challenges facing America and our job creators. And um, I, I'm crossing my fingers, Greta. I'm hoping that things can turn around uh, through these remaining hours.